And welcome into this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Hanley alongside Gus Yaldin. This is Giant Jenga. Gus, have you ever played this? I have not played Giant Jenga before. Okay, good, good. Three, two, one. Let's go, baby. Got it. Come on. Man. Are you ready to try? I am ready to try. All right, well, you can go first. Oh, I'll go first? Okay. Okay, so being a Wisconsin native, being a Badger, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means everything. I love Wisconsin. I grew up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It means everything to me. I've been a huge Wisconsin fan my whole life. Uh, I grew up cheering for the Badgers. I grew up going to games. Uh, I was at the game where we beat Purdue when they were like number seven in the country. We stormed the court. Um, and then I was there for the Melvin Gordon rushing record game where it started snowing on us. Um, and then, oh no. <laughs> and then it's just, I've always been a Wisconsin fan. Like growing up, I, I made like Wisconsin on my PlayStation 3 on the 2010 basketball game. I only played with them. I was just a huge Badger fan growing up in the area. We could come to games all the time. And I just loved Wisconsin. And I just told that you played hockey. Yeah, so I- So six, nine on skates? Yeah, I was like, uh, I think now I still skate. So I'm like seven foot on skates, <laughs> seven foot one. Uh, but I played all the way up until I was a seventh grader. Um, and I love hockey. I still play to this day on like pond uh, hockey. Yeah. yeah, and go out. Sometimes I'll skate at the Laban Arena and hockey's just so much fun. All my cousins play. Uh, one of them's in the E something HL minor league up in Massachusetts playing for the Railers. Uh, and the other one could have walked on at Michigan State but decided not to, thank, thank goodness. Uh, but yeah, hockey's always been around my family and I just love hockey. So why basketball then? Uh, my hockey coach made me quit. Uh, he told me that I was too tall, too tall for <laughs> skates and he didn't have a position for me anymore. So there was no other hockey team in the area. Um, couldn't really do anything about it. If your coach isn't gonna play, you're just gonna sit there. So I was like, oh, all right. I can't play hockey anymore. What can I play? And my mom's like, well, you should play basketball. And she was a uh, professional player in Puerto Rico for two years, uh, division two All-American at Northern Kentucky. Uh, she was just a great player. And then my dad won a national championship at UMass Lowell. So they both said, try basketball. And I was like, okay. And I was all right at basketball, I guess. Yes. Um, do you have any, yeah, you moved that one, yeah, yeah. it's tipping a little bit. Uh-oh, this could go quick. <laughs> oh. I'll let you focus, I won't ask a oh. question right now. Hey. Oh no. Do you have any um, pre-game traditions, superstitions, you eat the same meal, you know, every, every game day? Kind of take us through your game day routine. Um, so I broke my foot back in uh, my sophomore year of high school, going into my junior year. Uh, so like pre-game, a lot of times I'm just walking around barefoot, like on the court, in the locker room. I just don't have shoes on. And I do that for our lifts too. Uh, it's something I kind of picked up on in the past year and a half, two years, because I broke my foot, but just being barefoot strengthens my foot, I guess, and it just feels so much better being barefoot pregame. It loosens up my ankles, gets that stiffness out. I had two surgeries on my foot, so it just feels good to be barefoot. So like everyone else will be walking around fully dressed up, but I'm just barefoot. <laughs> Um, and then another thing I do is like, I don't, I can't listen to rap music. I can't listen to like super, super hype music before a game. Cause I'm already like a, a wired guy. Yeah. Like I'm already ready to go. So I got to listen to like yoga calm music on Apple <laughs> music. Otherwise I'm going to freak out and be ready to kill someone before a game. When did that start? Uh, it started when I was in like, when I played hockey really. Like, my mom would always play the like ACDC rock music and I'd get 
go crazy and then the first three minutes of the game I'd be in the penalty box for hitting <laughs> someone. So my mom eventually realized when I was in like eighth grade, she put like classical jazz music in the car and I scored like 30 points one game. She's like, just do that. <laughs> I was like, sounds good. What's your favorite part about Madison? Um, my favorite part about Madison is the people. Um, I've played, oh no. I've played at a lot of different schools in a lot of different places uh, throughout high school. And like, it was really fun. I really liked being in North Carolina, Florida, California, Indiana, but it wasn't for me. Like to me, there's no other place like Wisconsin. It's just different here. Like I love it here. The people in Madison are so great, so kind. Like it's it's just a different culture, a different vibe, and, and I love it. It's it's awesome. What did you learn about this gonna fall? No. No. What did you learn about yourself going to play in all those different places as a high schooler? Um, I learned that I get, I was much, like I wasn't as different as I thought I was. Like I thought I was this big like guy who was gonna go play basketball and do all these great things. And I was bigger than Wisconsin and I could go do all this stuff like other people were doing on social media in high school. And then I kind of realized, well, you don't really have to do that. Like you can just be from Wisconsin and be a normal guy and do things like Tyrese Halliburton and yeah. Tyler Hero are doing. And then I kind of realized it's more fun to be and do something. Can I touch this one? No, but I'll take that one out. Uh, and then just to be like in my state and do what I'm doing from home, not somewhere else. So I love it here. It's just, it's awesome. Who's your uh, favorite Badger basketball player? My favorite Badger basketball player is Frank Kaminsky. I know it's a basic answer, but my second is Duye Dukin. Okay, so, so that's kind of a yeah, yeah. Why, Duye, why Duye? Duye Dukin was a backup player on that like 2014 team, and I just like I love. First of all, I loved his name. Duye Dukin is just a great name, and then he was just a good player. Like he came in, he was good enough to be a starter on any other team in the country that year, but he played. Oh, he was on the bench. Um, the Badgers and he came off the bench and he was perfectly fine with it and like that's something as I've gotten older like I've learned to appreciate he was such a good player and he just took that role and took it head on and he was he was really good and then Frank obviously is just Frank he's different oh no uh, oh that's okay there we go. Yep. You getting nervous now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This looks like it's gonna fall. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh no. I went to the wrong one. I think it's gonna go. Yeah, I do too. Just oh, don't no. get hurt. Greg Garden not be happy about that. Oh no. Uh, it's gonna, gonna go. Go. it's gonna go. Oh! Good work. I tried. Um. So, what, what kind of grade would you give your Jenga skills? Oh, like a C. I wasn't that good. I, I got to get better for sure. I mean, I got nervous every time that you were just going in there and you're just like. Yeah, like, it's not my really fun. my game. I, I don't know. I'm not a Jenga player. <laughs> we should play like Monopoly or something. That's okay. Like All right. Well, next time we'll play Monopoly. Yeah. For now, though, I'm Zach Gamley. He's Gus Yaldin, and that was this week's episode of Wisconsin Huddle on the